the Mauritius Kestrel. Falco punctutus is a small falcon endemic to the island of Mauritius in the Western Indian Ocean. During the 1960s and 1970s the Mauritius Kestrel was critically endangered and was on the brink of extinction with only four known wild birds. Since, intensive conservation management action by the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation has bring the actual population up to an estimation of 340 birds. During the breeding season the females stay around the nest whereas the male hunt prey for the female. A native prey are the Philsuma gecko. Like Atish, there is a team of conservation biologists devoting their time and knowledge to protect this endemic species from extinction. Here on the black cliff is a natural nesting cavity where four kestrel chicks are eagerly awaiting the return of their parents. After a good hunt the female finally returns with something to feed the chicks. As soon as the female has passed the prey item to the chicks, it fly away for another hunting expedition with the male. Intrigued by the outside, one of the chick get closer to the edge and open its wings indicating that it will fledge very soon. But it must be careful not to fall off the cliff or else predator like Mangus or Cat would just grab this opportunity. Forty-five minutes later the female come back with a prey item and this time again it will not stay for long with the chicks. It's wonderful to be able to come out and see the kestrels that we've reintroduced. Or should I say the descendants of the kestrels that we have reintroduced because we've now got several generations of kestrels that have been born in, this, in these mountains. The kestrels became extinct here in the 1940s and we put them back in the 1980s. And to think that they're doing so very, very well is excellent. We have over 50 pairs of kestrels here, and we've followed them through intensively since the reintroduction. And that's been an added bonus because we haven't only just recovered the Mauritius kestrel population, but we've found out a great deal about its biology. And it's now one of the most thoroughly studied and understood birds of prey in the world. But what's really special, and this is something that I never really thought about early on, was the satisfaction I get from seeing another generation of field workers doing that work. And next to the recovery of, of, of the animals themselves, the birds themselves, to see my staff growing and developing as field biologists. 